So in this lecture, I'm going to install Octopus Deploy Tentacle on an Ubuntu machine. Octopus Deploy is a .NET Core application, so it's cross-platform and you can install it on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux-based operating systems. If you are only going to use Windows, you can ignore this lecture. If you use apt, then your package will be on apt.octopus.com. And if you use RPM, then your package will be on rpm.octopus.com. So I can start my installation by adding the public key using sudo apt key and then adv dash dash fetch keys. And as I said, because I'm using apt, my key is apt octopus.com slash public key. And the key is installed. Now I can modify the repository for Debian and I do that with sudo add apt repository deb and then again my repository location is apt octopus.com slash forward slash stretch main. And now I just need to do sudo apt get update. And now we can install the tentacle using sudo apt-get install tentacle. So our tentacle is installed. Now we need to configure it. There is a bash file that allows us to configure the tentacle and that is located in slash opt and then octopus and then tentacle folder or directory and the bash file is called configure tentacle.sh we can run it with bash sometimes if you run it with sh you will get error it's better to run it directly with bash and say run configure tentacle.sh the first thing you need to enter is an instance name the default is tentacle but you can call it for example ubuntu as well or anything for example my web server one or whatever and then you can provide web whether this is a listening tentacle or polling tentacle I will say this is a listening tentacle and I will allow all the application paths to be default the port is as I said before 10933 but if you want you can change the port if you change the port you have to make sure that your firewall allows traffic through that port and then you need to go to your octopus deploy server and grab your thumbprint and paste it here and then your tentacle will be installed once the tentacle is installed, we can run it. Now we can run our tentacle using the tentacle command, which is a binary file. So it's better even to use sudo tentacle. And then uh, there is a command called run dash dash instance. And then provide the name that you provided when you run configure tentacle.sh. And your tentacle is now listening. Now I can go to Octopus Deploy and register this tentacle. So now I'm back to Octopus Deploy. The host IP of the Ubuntu machine is here and the port can be either default or you can uh, use another port when you configure your Octopus tentacle and then click on next. Then give it a name, for example, Ubuntu web server something like this again either choose an existing environment or type a new name a role again either choose an existing name or create one for example we can say this one is tomcat for example and leave the policy and everything else as it is and click on save now you have another tentacle so if i go to the target status you will see that again there is one target that is healthy with warnings and to fix that you have to go and click on the tentacle go to the connectivity tab and click on update calamari the first time that you install tentacle you have to update your calamari and then it will become green which means it's fully healthy so again, if I go to infrastructure, you will see that there are two listening tentacles. One of them is my web server, which is Windows. One of them is my Ubuntu web server, and it's green. And again, if I go to environments, I have two listening tentacles here. I can deploy some websites to, for example, Windows now, and some, say, Java stuff to Tomcat. I hope that you enjoyed this. Now let's go to next lecture and talk about packages and releases.